back to Hoarder's Head. On this episode, we're going to be making a DIY money cake for quarantine birthdays and celebrations. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder, and I can still be a day to putting the sunglasses on and that phone in front of my face, because I'm still feeling a little too whoa vulnerable to admit to the world who I am, and here's my messes and mental struggles. But this episode, I'm actually showing you what I'm passionate about, and that is making crafts and giving them as gifts. That is what makes me so happy. I enjoy doing that. And of course, with the quarantine, I wanted to make it extra special for my oldest son, who is turning 12. So I decided to make a money cake. But first, I wanted to see what supplies I already had before I ordered anything for the curbside pickup because of the lockdown that is still going on in my state. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as I was about to grab my glue gun, and get these glue sticks that were loose over here. I saw this. How perfect is that to put it on the cake? I didn't even plant it there. It was like there already. And I was like, thank you. Thank you, party gods. <laughs> this is perfect to put on his dollar cake. All right, so in this bin is like school supplies. So, okay, school supplies, book covers. Okay, uh, letters, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I just, I need letters. Okay, well, okay, not letters, numbers. Okay, there's, there's two. I need one. Okay, thank God. One's right here. Yes, okay, for the 12, the glitter 12. Yes, this is awesome. <laughs> Here's our lovely hoarded ribbon bin that we've had. And I had already went ahead to look through the bin because I remember I had like a matching set of like birthday kind of stuff so these two will go really really good together for it so all right we're gonna use this too all right you see all that ribbon over there oh I gotta let me see if I can reach oh there's this will work right in here okay we can grab that ribbon let me see just to add a little extra pizzazz oh yeah honey that'll work we're pulling this up it's I'm not gonna lie it's a little wrinkly i would have liked it to be a little flatter but this could work for the top of the cake it's yeah this could work i think we could definitely make this work all right guys so i just stopped at the joann's uh, curbside pickup which went very smoothly because i needed some pieces which i'm having a hard time opening here but what it is it's the two pieces of styrofoam and then the cake board that we're gonna use to make it. But I mean, it was real easy. We just ordered it online. I wore my mask. They walk out to you and uh, we call it a day. All right, guys, so here are the supplies. This is what was in the Joann's bag. We have this. We have the foam so we can make start to make the cake. We got the money. We got our glue gun. We got some tape. We got the one and the two to make a 12. We also have a happy birthday. We have these little sticks so I can stick it into the actual top of the cake. And then this, I I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna add to it and see how we can make it look even more festive. And yes, I am actually um, recording at work and it's actually after my hour, so I'm staying later, but I have to make it here. My son is home with me all the time. I have no other time to make this. <laughs> All right, so let's get all these pieces opened up so we can get started. And one of the first things I did was I took that poster board and traced the foam circles on there because I didn't want you to see the foam directly on top of the cake. So I thought it would also brighten it up as well. Then I took the hot glue gun and started piecing it all together like a cake. Next, it was time to start rolling up the dollar bills. And I actually used a roll of dimes from the bank. It was actually the perfect width for me to use. That way I could also stand it up on its side when we put it on the cake. Now, to tape it together, I actually used the scotched gift tape. That one was the best one to use, so that way when he takes the tape off, it very easily comes off. That way it doesn't rip his dollars. Next, it was time to start lining it up on the bottom and second tier of the cake. 
and all together it came out to $62 in ones. Now I have to secure the dollars on there. So what I did was I took the birthday ribbon, I glued it on, that way it would stay onto the cake. Next up, I wanted to give the top of the cake a little more pizzazz. So of course, I have my one and two glitter stickers to make a 12. And I also have this Hallmark uh, happy birthday tag that is supposed to go on your gift bags, but it'll be perfect for this. So I grabbed the popsicle sticks, I grabbed my hot glue gun, and I made these little picks. And I'm just so excited to give this to my son because I wanted it to be extra special for when I give it to him tomorrow morning. Time to poke holes on the top. That way we can place our picks where we want them. Next, I thought I want the cake to have a little more pizzazz too. So what I did was I grabbed that hoarded ribbon in the basement. I taped the bottom of it. And then I took my scissors to curl up the ends and they slipped perfectly right inside of the dollar bills. And I thought this was the perfect way to add, give it a little more color and just to make it a little more exciting to look at. All right, guys, we are done this cake. And you know what? Thank goodness, because it is getting late already. I need to get home. <laughs> All right, guys, so there it is. There is the finished money cake. And overall, I love how this came out. It came out so, so cute. And I cannot wait to give it to my son. And this is what I love doing. I love crafting, especially using a lot of my hoarded craft supplies. That is just icing on the cake right there. So guys, I am going to wrap up this video and I just want to say, man, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.